Earlier, the soundboard has been taken apart in all its separate parts, which are now being glued back again. After the drying process, the bridge is glued back. The ribs are next, a delicate procedure requiring the joint forces of the team. Here we see the top side of the soundboard with the bridge on it. The soundboard is turned upside down with the bridge sitting in a mold. All the ribs are carefully placed in position. Adhesive tape is being applied alongside the ribs to prevent an eventual excess of glue getting onto the soundboard surface. Today we use bone glue only for smaller surfaces and, and small parts because uh, bone glue has to be hot when you use it. It uh, solidifies quite quickly, so it's difficult to use for bigger surfaces and then have time enough to glamp it very solidly. So uh, what we use today is a cold fish glue. And most important of gluing joints is, of course, the glue has to get very hard. And um, in case of these restorations, it's very important that it can be dissolved later in time, in 50 years or something, whenever necessary. Using long wooden lasts, called go bars, the ribs are firmly clamped onto the soundboard until the glue is dry. For these complicated gluing jobs, a special device sealing is used. The usual steel clamps can only go as far as the edges, but using the ceiling and these last for glamps, all parts that need gluing are within reach. In this case, the ribs. A lath, called the cut-off bar, is glued on by placing it over the ribs. Through the different thicknesses of the sticks, the amount of pressure of the clamp may vary. Excess glue is now being removed and all can be left to dry now. <laughs> 